Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to show you how to solve the string to integer problem, A2I. Implement A2I, which converts a string to an integer. The function first discards as many white space characters as necessary until the first non-white space character is found. Then, starting from this character, take an optional initial plus or minus sign, followed by as many numerical digits as possible, and interpret them as a numerical value. The string can contain additional characters after those that form the integral number, which are ignored and have no effect on the behavior of this function. If the first sequence of non-white space characters in str is not a valid integral number, or if no such sequence exists because either str is empty or it contains only white space characters, no conversion is performed. If no valid conversion could be performed, a zero value is returned. So how can we solve this problem? We can solve this problem um, iterating through the string from left to right. First, we need a variable to keep track of the sign of the, of the final result because it could be negative or positive. So we have to check that. And as the problem says, we have to skip white space characters because it could be an empty string or it could have leading spaces. So we have to skip any white space character and if there are characters that are not digits, then we have to handle that case too. So there are many edge cases in this problem. So we have to handle those cases. If there are characters that are not digits, we just return what we have built so far and ignore those remaining characters. Um, if no possible conversion is, is possible, if there's no possible conversion, then we just return zero. So if no valid conversion could be performed, a zero value is returned. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I want to make sure that I check for null if the reference is null, if str equals equals null, or str that is empty, then I just return zero because no valid conversion could be performed. Then I'm going to I'm going to need a few variables as I said, I need integer sign. This is going to tell me the sign of the final result. Initially, I'm going to make the assumption that the final result is positive. I need an index variable to traverse the string from left to right. I'm going to call it i, gets a value of 0, and n gets a value of str.length. This is going to be the length of the string. So I'm going to say, OK, first I want to skip spaces if there are spaces. So I'm going to say while i is less than the length of the string and str.char at i equals equals a space keep incrementing i so skip any spaces then after skipping all the spaces i want to check a special case here or a corner case if i is greater than or equal to n return zero if it was all spaces then there's nothing to do there's no possible conversion so just return zero as the problem says. Okay, now I want to check if the first character is a plus sign or a negative sign and update my variable accordingly. So if str.char at i equals equals a plus or str.char at i equals equals a minus, then I just say, okay, the sign gets a value of str.char at i equals equals a plus 1, otherwise negative 1. So that means if it is a plus, that means that if if this is true, if this condition is true or this condition is true, then there's a, there's a symbol in the front. There's a plus or a minus in the front. So I have to update my sign variable to tell me if it is positive or negative, if the final result will be positive or negative. So if it is a positive sign in the front, then the final result will be positive, so I put a 1 to indicate that. If, if it is a negative sign, then I put a negative 1 in the sign variable to determine that the final result will be negative. And because there's, a, there's a, this symbol here, plus or minus, in this position, I want to skip this position because I just want to consider numbers. So after this, I just keep, uh, I say increment i after I check. All right. 
So now I also need a variable for the result. So I'm going to say I'm going to say long result gets a value of zero. Why do I use the long type? Because the the string could be bigger than an integer. So if if it overflows, I will, I have to check for that case, and I want to use a long for that. So I'm going to say while i is less than the length of the string and character dot is digit str dot char at i so as long as i have more character more characters to consider and the current character is a digit then i want to use horner's rule so i'm going to say result as a value of result times 10 plus um, str that char at i minus zero. All right, so I'm gonna explain this line to you in a moment. What this is doing is that this is converting the current character to a digit and then um, building the final result from left to right using a formula from algebra. The formula is called Horner's rule so this is the method that we use for that. And after we do that, we have to increment i. So I'm gonna increment i. So how does that work? So the method is called Horner's rule. And as an example, I'm gonna give you this. The number is 325 as a string. And then Initially, the result variable equals zero. Okay, then what you do is that you go, the first number that you see in the string is three, so you say result times 10 is zero, plus three. So now the result becomes three. Then you go to a two, so you say, result which is 3 times 10 is 30 plus the 2 is 32 so now result equals 32 now you go to the 5 and you say result times 10 result is, th is 32 times 10 is 320 plus the 5 is 325 and this is going to allow you to go from left to right in the string and convert it to an integer so this is Horner's rule okay so after you do that, you want to check for overflow. You want to check if the result times the sign is greater than integer the max value or result times the sign is less than integer the mean value. Then because this already overflows, I have to return um, a number here uh, to indicate that it overflows. So if it is bigger than the maximum possible value, I return the maximum possible value. If it is smaller than the minimum possible value, I return the minimum possible value. So I'm going to say return sign equals equals one. If that's the case, I return integer the max value. Otherwise, integer, wait, integer that mean value. So this is going to handle the case um, if, we, if the result has to be positive, it returns the maximum possible value. If the result has to be negative and it overflows, then I return the minimum possible value for an integer. All right. And then at the end, this variable here is going to contain the final result, but I have to make sure that if it is negative, I handle that case. And because it is a long, I also have to convert back to an integer. So I say return converting to an integer, the result times the sign. All right, so I'm gonna run the code. It seems to be working fine, so I'm gonna submit a solution. All right, this is working perfectly. Um, this is 16 milliseconds faster than 99.50% of Java online submissions for A to I. Um, so please press the like button don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.